Right, what's this? It's called a funnel. Well, I can see it's a funnel. We use it to get the water into the kettle when it's rough, so it don't go everywhere. <laughs> I see. <laughs> I was wondering what you were using that for. <laughs> Just for making tea. <laughs> okay. Chris, this boat is something that you dreamt of as a, as a child, well, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, when I was a youngster, I used to I mean, I've always liked fishing boats, and years and years ago, we, when we were little kids, we found a load of pig troughs floating in the sea, and we lit a fire, mounted some pitch to put in the ends to make them water tight, and we had canoes. We used to paddle around the civics with a piece of wood, and that sort of thing, you know, starts you off really. And, I, and we always go back to things like that in our minds, you know, when we were young, and I always thought it'd be lovely to have a nice open boat instead of a closed-in cabin and that's what I've got but of course it's not easy um, I mean you get wet and you get cold uh, but we carry all the weatherproof gear and that you know but um, it's just part of the charm of it you know I, I just love it is she a fast boat very quick very quick on, on a bow line she really goes oh, I have got speedo but I don't know what it does I've never used it yet it's just a little wheel the propeller that drops over the back um, a log, log line, and it records the speed. I must try it out one day. I'm always too busy to get it out. Uh, there's always something on the water that's taking your attention. You know, it might be another ship or something or another boat. You can't afford to relax that much. It's a very, uh, very adaptable, really, to whatever you want to do. But um, there's, there's no real comforts aboard. Uh, it's, it's very cosy down below here, isn't it? I can get a cooker out and make a cup of tea, which is essential. Absolutely essential. So is that your luxury on board? That is the luxury item, yeah. Right, well we'll have to have a cup in a minute. Well, I think there's about three pints of milk, long life milk under the floorboards here somewhere. And that, that's just full of extent of it. <laughs> that's your survival kit, is it? <laughs> <laughs> when you go sailing, you go with a couple with a, a mate. So there's two of you down there's below here, isn't it? Yeah. And it's pretty tight though, isn't it? Um, not really. No, he's in his sleeping bag. I'm in mine. You know, we're both straight guys. It's not a problem. <laughs> so your luxury is a, a little kettle. You got two bunks. Yeah. And she's a traditional old-fashioned fishing boat. She, she's copied from that, really. She's a copy of it. That was the original mould. In fact, if you look at the hull, you can still see the strakes, the planks, in the, in the fiberglass mould, 25 feet overall. The hull's 19, about, it's about a six, six foot beam, draws a couple of feet with the keel up and when the keel's down I think it's about a metre and a half. So it's still it's pretty good big, isn't it? Big dagger of wood comes down. Yeah. And uh, it's quite good when you sail down wind with it on because the boat goes faster. So she's good for that and she's good for creeping around the creeks? Absolutely I can go straight across uh, from here straight across the harbour without going in the main channels. And a guy showed me, no he didn't show me but I noticed the way he was tying his fenders on, you know? And he's putting this funny little knot in there and I looked at it and I thought, that's got to be quicker to tie, and it is. It's so quick, so simple, it's unbelievable, look, and there's one there. So, I'll demonstrate. So there's your boy, you just tuck that through there. Put a loop in there, put that in there, there you go. That won't go anywhere. How many, how many of these boats are there around? 
I, I should think there must be maybe a hundred nationwide at least because they actually manufactured them in Liverpool and then they started to match, manufacture them down on the Hamble but I don't know who's doing it now or whether they're still doing them but they're becoming scarce I think a lot of people think she's wooden but she's not, I can't I cannot tell a lie <laughs> and the deck's pretty rough isn't it? well it's deliberately made rough because there's no staunchings and you've got, all you've got is a small teak rail all the way around. So if you didn't have non-slip decks, I don't know what would happen. And so I've made it deliberately, rough as I can get it, so that you get a good grip when, when it's wet and you're on the deck, hauling ropes or whatever, you've got good footing underneath. And are there many of these around, these Open 19s? Well, over at Yarmouth there was three of us, three boats. But I think there are others around, definitely. Um, they're very popular racing yeah when i think about it i mean i love to go sailing just plain sailing you know and i can enjoy that but racing really is the epitome of it because that's when all the tactics come out and they look at very fine things you know like reading the wind and wind shifts tacking on the lifters things like that or going on the lifters and tacking on the headers is what I should say. And she's a fairly fast boat, isn't she? Yeah, she really goes quick. Well, the, the, the boat we raced against Tuesday night it was a sloop. And we left him miles behind. But he won the race because obviously he's got a better handicap than me. So, um, it's quite interesting. Even a little race like that, you know. I think with sailing you never stop learning. It's ever ongoing, and nobody knows it all. Nobody. Somebody will come down and show you something you've never seen before. <laughs> Somebody said to me once, uh, where's the cushions? Uh, you're joking, we don't have cushions. It's a bit of a survival bloody test, this yeah, boat, it is. isn't it? It is, really, yeah. That's part of the attraction. I can't explain it, really. It's, it's, not, it's not the sort of boat that attracts women, is it? No. Oh, no, definitely not. It doesn't even attract blokes. <laughs>